boxes come. It's like the cat's favorite thing. Um, he's going to help me. Um, so, you know, it's, sometimes they, usually they wait if I take everything out of it. Sometimes they don't wait. They just think the box is like their thing to get in. So I have this tiny little box here and they're super cute. They're in the catalog and there's little Stampin' Up! washi tape that you can seal them with and little paper clips, clips that you can decorate them with. So this one's been sitting on my desk and so he sees it and it, to him it's a Stampin' Up! box but only it's got some paper. Lisa, if you're watching, because this happens to be one of my girlfriends. Hi, Kathy. And she left it here after our stamp night. So it has some scraps of her paper and stuff in it. But when he sees it, it, it confuses him. He thinks it's a Stampin' Up! box. So he puts his two front paws in it. So he sits like this. Because he knows he's supposed to, it's a box and it's a Stampin' Up! box. And that's what he does. He gets in them. But that's all that can fit. So, I don't know if you can see, like right here, he's chewed at it because it's kind of annoying to him. So, he sits there with his front two feet in it and then he chews on the front because he can't get in the box. So, apparently he's going to help me today. I am going to emboss, so if he's still here when that happens, he will leave. I don't know how much you can see because, you know, Facebook, there he goes, makes you do your camera long ways. At least my camera. Some of us can get your camera the other way, but mine doesn't work. So now he's moving, so I can move over. So I have my um, books here because I'm going to show you. Well, one, I have this one. If you don't have this one and you need it, I know cats are the best. You know, they're so low, low key. Like I, I loved my dogs. We had our dogs for a long time, but they were a lot of work. <laughs> you know, I, my studio is upstairs and they were older dogs and they had to go out all the time. So I got exercise, but my cats, you know, they just go on about their business and um, they like to lay on the keyboard and they keep me entertained, but you know, when they need to go out, they just go out themselves. Um, so if you need the new catalog, I can't show you the inside of it, but I can show you the outside. If you need it, I have them here and I will mail them next week. So just let me um, know in the messages that you need one and then I can, um, private message you like let me know in the comments and I can private message you this is my um, current catalog actually I have two of them because one of them fell in the pool last year so this is like the one that I started using halfway through the summer but the cards that I'm going to show you today I wanted to be able to show you the dies as we use them so I've got two. I don't, I'm not going to do the second, the second one's not a card. I'm just going to show you pieces of it because I have camp tonight and I'm mostly ready, but not all the way. Hi, Amy. I know my cats like to sit on my lap too. It's really nice in the winter um, because it keeps me warm. But she also likes to, like when I watch TV, she sits on my lap lap like she's a lap cat. Um, but then when I type on the computer, she won't sit on my lap. Like she likes to be up here and it's really hard to type. And you, you know, sometimes I'm one of those ones that I can't get up in the morning if she's all cozy on me because I don't want to disturb my cat. It drives my husband crazy. He's like, just get up. Eh, I work from home. I can take 10 more minutes and let her sit there. So I love cats. I'm a cat person. So first I'm going to show you the projects that we have that, that we'll be doing for those ladies that are coming to my camp this weekend. That Most of them already have their videos on YouTube, so you can go over there if you haven't gone. This And I'll show you what's retiring. So on this one, um, it's called Blow Out Your Candles, the set. It was the first time I used it when I made this card. My daughter had used it. Does anybody have this? Actually, I think I did it on Facebook Live last week. So if you caught Facebook Live last week, that is actually the one. I was going to do it again, but I've been in Michigan for part of the week and I would just run out of time. Um, so this one is up. It also uses glossy paper, which is retiring, and I love glossy paper. Um, but it's come and gone a couple of times, so I'm keeping it because I'm sure it'll come back. But this one's a really fun die. So if you haven't seen that one, go check out the catalog because you don't want to, you know, start seeing. Pinterest kind of gets going. Like my Lily dies from Celebration are like viral right now because Pinterest takes a while to get going. So you don't want to see this card and these die. I mean, this stamp set and these dies in a couple of months and go like, where is that? And then find out if it's retired if you like it. So just go have a look at it before then. So this is one that I just posted a couple of days ago, but it was my ode to the Avengers. We're Marvel fans in my family. Um, 
So this has the original five. When I showed my daughter, she's a huge Marvel fan, and she said, Mom, there's only four. And I'm like, well, um, I know that it was designed to a, for a guy, so, you know, they don't care black, about Black Widow, but she, if, I don't want to spoil anything, but, you know, she's a major part of Endgame. So, the stars on the back, the stars are retiring, the embossing folder, and that was my ode to Black Widow. And then you have Captain America, Thor, Incredible Hulk, and Iron Man represented. But the this stamp set and dies, it is so nice to have for guy cards, especially, you know, 20, 30 something year old guys, because you can do a lot of fun craft beer kind of things with it. So that's a really unique stamp set to have. Let's see what else is retiring. I think it's mainly on this one, just the, the embossing folder and the, the stamp and die set. So don't miss that one if you do a lot of something for that age group. And then this one has retiring is the paper that goes with the tropical chic that is staying. So, and then the little elements are staying, I mean going, that, or, but they go with the stamp that's, it, that's staying. And the flamingo also goes really well with the tropical chic, but it's retiring. So, and it's a fun fold. And this video is up. And um, for those of us that, okay, there is this thing, like I don't do math. I know how to do math. I'm actually very good at it. Um, and I started it out as a bi biology major in college because I can do it. I don't like to do it. So if I have to stop and do a math equation, um, <laughs> your cat's right there. Is he watching with you? That's fun. Mine will probably make an appearance. There's nothing worse when they get in a cat fight because my girl cat doesn't fight, but my boy cat does. Um, but so I can do math. I just choose not to because I don't like it. So I don't like to interrupt my joy of creating to do a math problem. So on this card, it takes a tiny bit of math to score these, but mine often isn't perfect. So if you watch this video, you can see how you can do not perfect math and then use the subtle embossing folder and fix it. So, um, and then also on this, like tonight, when they come to camp, everybody's gonna get different papers because this is a six by six pack. Hi, Tanya. Um, so everybody's gonna get different papers, but it doesn't matter, they're all super cute. I just tried to give them all ones that had the pink in it so it would match the flamingo. And then the video that I put up today um, actually has two new products in it that go with retiring products. And this one, we're gonna lose the petal promenade paper. And on the video, I show you all of the pieces because it's beautiful. And we're gonna lose the detailed laser cut paper and we're gonna use that beautiful ribbon. Mm. The card I'm gonna show you in a minute we're losing seven things from. But then we are getting the vellum and look how pretty the vellum matches the paper. So you don't want to get the paper, I mean, get this vellum and then go, what paper does it go with? And then say, oh, I should have had that. Hi, Tanya. Um, and then this saying goes really well with this stamp. Well, I just used the, the dies. I didn't use the stamp set. This is from Sitting Pretty. And I have made several videos that use Sitting Pretty. But it's a, it's a, I don't know what you call this kind of card. Somebody tell me what it's called. Because it's not sympathy and it's not really thinking of you. Like it's in between. Is there an in between thinking of you and sympathy card? It says, it'd be like if, like if somebody's really sick, not just like got a cold. Or like if maybe they're going through a divorce or, you know, it's like a couple months past somebody dying. Like, it's that kind of card. What is that kind of card called? I know the Sitting Pretty's bundle's retiring. That is makes me sad. Because um, it's a, I like the unique sets. Like, I always gravitate towards those. You know, because we all have lots of flowers. And those can all stand in for each other. But the ones, like, this has a bulldog. So one of them, the cards that I made was a guy card. Because I turned the buffalo check into a flannel and used the bulldog. So it makes a great guy card. But the saying for the magnolia, um, the good morning magnolia that I put with the bench, I thought it went really well. So here's what I mean by not sympathy, because it's not quite strong enough for a sympathy. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. So it's not really, like you wouldn't want to really use it for a death. 
and I hate making sympathy cards. So I'm not quite sure what to call that kind of card. Like it's not just thinking of you. So whatever, I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of a card that is. It, maybe it's just a strong thinking of you, a sad thinking of you, I don't, I don't know. We need a new, a new category for that. So then the one I'm gonna show you today is my friend Tanya's favorite set. Yeah, Tough Times card, that's a good name for it. Encouragement, yeah, that's another one. I was kind of a loss for words when I was filming because you know you sit here by yourself and you start filming and I'm like, eh. I knew what I, I was thinking but I couldn't think of what it was. So the card I'm going to show you today, I should have looked up what page it was on. Let's flip. It is inspired by my shirt. And you know when I thought this stamp set was safe because they made, they made a dang shirt. You're going to make a shirt. Keep this set at least a year, right? And so when I sat down to play with it, my friend Tanya, she's made a couple of, several beautiful cards with it. Anybody know what page it's on? Dreamcatcher? I think, is it in the baby section? I should have looked it up. I haven't looked at this catalog now for a couple minutes. You know, you start looking, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the index. That's what I'll do. Is it called Dreamcatcher? Follow your dreams. I have this thing laying here. I just wanted to be able to show you the um, page 54. So it's not in the baby section. So here it is. Tanya was actually a display stamper when it came out, which seems like now it was a million years ago. So the samples in the catalog aren't, well, you can't even really see the, huh. It's like miniature. That's why nobody buys these sets, because they made it miniature. I will say that between this catalog and the new one, the samples are 1,000 times better. 1,000 times, one, maybe 1 million times. The samples in the new catalog are fabulous. So here's Follow Your Dreams. Um, I think it's a baby set just because the dream catchers are so hot and so trendy right now in the, um, the nursery world. But it could also be, like, when I look at this card, it could be a Mother's Day card if my ladies need it because they're going to make it tonight. Or it could be a graduation card. Or it could be um, the Mother's Day graduation or baby. It could be any of the ones they want it to be. So I'm going to use, so this is retiring. The dies are retiring. And then when I sat down to make it, I thought, what color do I want to do? And um, I had just worn this in Michigan. So, you know. It's copper, and copper is my favorite color. And one of the other things that's retiring, I don't know why, I mean, this can't take up much space on the pick line, is the copper thread. So I wanted to use it. So we're gonna go with some copper. So I'm gonna aim this down a little bit better so you can see it, and you can also get one more look at my beautiful copper shirt. Takes me a minute for my um, camera to catch up on my iPad to make sure that we've got in view. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna emboss. Hope I hope my um, embossing gun's plugged in. So it comes with the exact thing that's on our shirt. How many of you have this shirt? Because it's beautiful. We should have sold it to the public. I think we should have a couple of shirts that I've got something on the embossing pad. Um, Versamark. So here's my Versamark pad. And this doesn't have the feathers on it. I wondered because I made it. And then, you know, I just put it on 10 minutes ago because I only just got dressed. I've been ready. I just didn't have my clothes on because you know who wants to put a white shirt on when you're cleaning. But I didn't remember if this, if this shirt had feathers on it, but it doesn't. The shirt is literally just this. And now that you've been working with cling stamps, this is not a cling stamp. So when I first went to use it, it fell off. The cling stamps are wonderful. And just a second while I share this. Um, so I'm going to do the first image in the copper. And I always 
when I use embossing powders, it's like a walk down memory lane. This one isn't too terribly old, but they last for a long time. And this is copper embossing powder. But you know, I get to go through all of the different logos. I have some of the logos back from when our um, logo was the, actually Stampin' Up, and the Up went up. So your embossing powders will last till the apocalypse, unless you spill them on the floor. So you just put that on there and give it a good flick. Unless your hands are um, dirty or it's really humid in your house, you shouldn't have issues. Just don't cut your, touch your cardstock a lot. But the copper embossing powder is not leaving, so it's staying. And I think that it has left a couple of times in the past, and it's kind of like the glossy cardstock where I just keep it. I just keep it and it will come back. Because I think it comes and goes. So here's the heat gun, if you haven't seen embossing before. I emboss upside down, but it's going to be loud, so I'm going to stop talking while I emboss. I'm going to put it up so you can see it. And I just do it so you can see it melt. And once it melts, it goes shiny. Once your gun's hot, it happens right away. It just takes a second for the gun to get hot. There it goes. Can you guys see it? And you just want to make sure that all the places get melted. If it, if it doesn't melt, then when it's touched, it'll just brush off. never have too many bottles of, bot of bottles of copper embossing powder, but you will have it for a million years. Because <laughs> I don't remember who remembers when our um, stuff was, what color is this? Is it sage? I don't know what color this was, but it's been a minute since we've had the green. Because we've had blue in between and now we're to black. So this is the back, going to be the basis of the background of our card. And then I'm gonna, I guess I'll go ahead and do the um, big shot stuff. So there's some really pretty dies that come with this set. We just met a lot of fun girls from Canada this week. We went to Ann Arbor. And all of the Canadians kept referring to it as Detroit. And actually, while we were in Ann Arbor, it was at an event, and the guy in charge of the music, when we came in, were like, this soundtrack sounds like we could be at a Stampin' Up! event. And then at, when I saw the guy doing the music, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy's done our music before, and he used to work with Stampin' Up! But there were lots of Canadians there. So this is... Um, Blushing Bride. And then this piece comes with the set, and then this is one of our circles that's just the right size to cut it out. So I'm going to lay these two on together. You could also punch it out. And then this is the copper foil. And there is a long piece of the dream catcher. I'm going to put this on here. And then there's the words that say dream. And I'm going to put this on here. So the dies are retiring. I'm gonna run those through all at once. And the, you know, the big shot's retiring. So if you don't have a big shot, Stampin' Up! will come out with another die cutting system, but it's not going to be in the new catalog and it's not gonna be in the near future. In the future, but not the near future. So if you don't have one, then you may want to get one. I've had my, I have three big shots. I've had one of them since they originally came out. Then another thing that's going to retire is this rolly brush. There is a new piece that will fit on the end of um, the Take Your Pick tool. So if you have the Take Your Pick tool, you can wait and get that. If you don't have this, you might want to get it. 
and you just roll this over and it will knock the, all the pieces out. And I just rolled that through once. Stampin' Up's starting to make their own dies and they do work. Hi, Janet. I bet it's warm in North Carolina. It was beautiful here like two days ago. It was in the 80s and now it's freezing again. Although I say freezing, having just been in Michigan. Michigan is freezing. So it's the time of year where it's all relative. So see how pretty this is. So we've got that piece and let's do the dream. Now this has little, um, you know how it has the little dot, the little circles so you can punch it out. It makes little dots and I don't like those. So I'm going to run that through again to press those out because I don't want those on there. So I'm going to put that back over here. these out. This comes with a mat, but sometimes I find it works just as well to hold it over the dish and just let the pieces fall out. And this is another piece of a dream catcher, so you can kind of have a 3D effect with it. So there you've got this one. Okay. So here you can see I've got these dots on here and I hate those. So I'm going to take this piece of scrap paper that I had in my embossing powder and I'm just going to lay this back on here and put it over the top and then just run this through. Now the dots are gone. So now it's nice and flat. Because I think the dots look kind of tacky. Unless you're going for a polka dot theme or something. I don't like them. So I have a couple more pieces like the in here that didn't pop, pop out. But it's just a way to get it nice and flat again. Okay, and then we have Oh, I meant to get to them. Do I have anything lying here that I can show you? I'm using a new piece. It's from, how many of you, have you, I can't talk. How many of you have seen the, is it raining? I think it's been raining like in the whole United States. It's no drought, that's for sure. I don't think anybody's having a drought. It's, it rains here, like we're lucky to get two days in a row of sunshine. So let me see if I have a nested label. Has anybody seen the nested labels? They're really cool. I thought I had a scrap piece here, but maybe not. So there, we have nested labels and they are kind of like they're corners like this and then long. So they go corners and then long and then they're nested. But then also in it, you get this, oh, here they are. Cause they're on the flamingo card. So they look like this, but then you get, uh, I don't know how many there are of them, maybe nine. Um, but then you get this one little straight piece as well. I need a piece of washi tape, here we go. So I'm gonna use that on here. And you oh, don't wanna go long ways. You don't wanna use it um, like a speed bump. You wanna put it in long ways. But it will move, especially since I've embossed my cardstock. Oh, and I can never find the end of my washi tape. Because when you emboss the cardstock, it goes kind of bumpy, wavy. So just hold that in place. And it just gives a nice double stitched line. It doesn't cut it, it just puts a stitch mark in it. So this is a fun sneak peek at a new product. So you see? gives a little bit of texture and it kind of goes nicely with this card. And I'm going to do one 
going down here. And I don't want it to go that direction. You can see this is one of the new our Duke new dies because it has Stampin' Up! instead of Sizzix on it, which is kind of fun. You know, when you've been around as long as I have, you remember when we first started having our own stamps or when we first started having our own inks. So it's always fun when you, your company has its own product and it controls its own designs. So we've got the stamps and the dies that are retiring, and we've got this is retiring. And I think now that I've got all of the big shot stuff done. Yes, the dies are fun, and this is a piece that you can use on a lot of different cards. In fact, I keep these washi pieces here, and I have like um, storage pieces around and then I just stick them like here so I think to use them all the time because if they get put back in their cases then you just forget that we have them and you're much more likely to use them if they're out where you can see them okay so now let's put our card together oh I'm sorry I told you this was blushing bright it's actually petal pink and petal pink is retiring I think I said it was blushing bright but it's petal pink and that is going. And this is Fresh Fig, and it is also going. So we have two retiring colors. I got as much retiring stuff on this card as you could ever hope to use. And this is Calypso Coral, um, but I thought it looked really pretty with the um, petal pink. It was actually the, how I came up with the, I just, my thing just fell off where I stick it. It's because it's ombre, the lighter color of the Calypso Coral, I think looks really pretty with the petal pink. And it was a way to get a retiring ribbon, and I love this ombre ribbon. So we're going to put it on here. We're going to put the copper that's retiring on here. Like I said, there's a ton of retiring stuff on here. I'm going to use the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and I'm going to use the um, Tinted faceted, faceted Buttons. All of these are retiring. So let's get them all crammed on one card. Then there is one more stamp piece that we're going to use. So that's why I need my stamp pad. And it's the um, feathers. And the way this stamp set works, it's super easy to stamp. You just ink up your feathers and then you just kind of, it's just random. So then they just kind of fill in the dream catcher. And they don't have to exactly touch because we're gonna lay the other stuff over the top so just kind of so they fill in some and then it has feathers isn't that pretty how many of you have this hi tiffany oh it's not petal pink is retiring yeah okay i just chose petal pink then because it went with the the ribbon i thought it was weird that i had an in color in this pad because i didn't think that i um I didn't think that I ordered the outgoing in colors in those pads, but I chose it because it went with the ribbon. You are right, Janet. It's not retiring. It's be, it's, I chose it just because of the ribbon. So you're gonna take your ribbon now and tie a bow right here. I wanna make, you wanna make sure that you leave yourself enough on the end that you'll be able to wrap it here on the card. So you just squish it over just a little. And you don't want a giant ribbon. So about that works. Cut that off. And then you're gonna take your snail and just add some right here where you're gonna wrap the edges around. that in the center and pull these around so they wrap like that so you've got this and then take your card and where you know this ribbon's going to hit just make sure that you have enough there 
I'm glad you guys told me that it wasn't retiring because I still have to type out my instructions for my camp this weekend and I would have put on there probably because you know it's been a busy week and I don't like to do my instructions right before camp but I haven't done it yet so now I don't have to make a mistake and tell them it's retiring and it's not. I um all of my colors are just in a giant stamp thing like in a stamp pad holder that my husband built me so they're all just together they were never by families not for years so here we have it just and you could stop there if you wanted a simple card but hey because we're gonna put so much embellishments on this just so we can show all of our embellishments now one tip with your bow when you do a bow like this I mean it's on here secure but this this little piece can move so take a glue dot which I know I have some laying here there we go just take one glue dot and just stick it right under the the center of the bow and that will keep it nice and secure and nice and straight okay and then we're gonna take a dimensional I'm glad I'm remaking this card I made it a couple of days ago and I need to pack my bucket for tonight so put one here in the middle and then take your pink piece and it lines up you don't want to make it go right over the top so it can go it could totally cover it up so offset it just a bit so you can see both colors the copper and the pink and then put your adhesive on your copper piece And see because you offset it now the pink shows through there so now we've got this and now we're gonna take oh I forgot to put I'm gonna pull this all off just for a second I forgot to put my copper stuff on but that's okay because we can just lift this piece right off of there so put some adhesive just right here in the middle and then take your copper red the pink is the rose gold or the rose is staying it's all stuck on everything the rose is staying and one either silver or I think rose and silver are staying thanks Tiffany so you're gonna put so put the adhesive in the middle people don't know how to use this sometimes and then just kind of figure eight it around. You don't want it to go off the card and you don't want all of them to be even. Just make sure every loop comes back around and sticks back in your adhesive. And this is just snail. You could use fuse if you had it. You don't really want liquid glue because it would, um, it doesn't hold because it's wet while you're doing this, so. I know, I was surprised too, because I thought the copper and the pink would be more popular than the other colors. But some people are more just more traditional, I guess. I always like when we get anything copper. Okay, and then, when you have this, my dimensional is stuck to this, just snip it so it ends. So see how I've got that on there? It looks a hot mess, but now I'm gonna cover it up. So now I'm gonna take the dimensional again and stick it right back over the top. And then that covers up, so you have your thread sticking out. And it just gives a little bit of whimsy to the back of it. Yeah, copper is my favorite metallic. It always has been since I was little. Okay, now we'll go back to these. And you could use you could use the pink or you I'm gonna use the orange. I don't know if it says on here what colors they are. It's a little bit orange orange, but when you lay it on top of that, it tones it down. So 
I'm going to use a bigger one than I did on my original card just so there's enough of the smaller ones left for my camp girls. And just take a glue dot. Thanks, Tanya. Stick this on here. And then I'm gonna take the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. Again, there's several colors that will work. Um, I think this is grapefruit. I think this is powder, and I think this, maybe, I don't know. You know, sometimes you look at the colors and they're a little bit, but you could really take your pick out of any of the three of these. Let me see, I think, I think I used this blackberry looking one. It's not fig, I don't think, but I'm gonna go for a lighter one. Partly because then at camp, they've got, they can see what the different colors look like. But they're all in the same family of pinks and oranges, so. And just stick that then in the middle of your faceted button. So now we have this, and then we just need to add our dream. I loved the galvanized too. I was kind of hoping it would be back in the catalog when the catalog came out. The other thing that I could have put on here um, was the Sizzix adhesives, which is one. Next week I'm gonna do on my blog the 10 things I'm gonna miss most, and that is definitely one that I will miss most, is the Sizzix adhesive sheets. I use those all the time. But because we were doing several things on here, I didn't want them to, at camp tonight, to put it on any of these pieces because these are 3D and I didn't want them to waste it on a 3D one. And it just takes two tiny little pieces of it. And then you're done. It may be Rich Razzleberry. They're all kind of, but I think any of those, there's three colors that would work. And I think that these, the pink buttons in here would work too. I mean, you could make this card in, if you were doing these for graduation, you could do it in whatever school colors that you were that you wanted to do, to do. If you were doing it for a baby card, you could do it in yellows and blues and lighter pinks. Although I think these colors work for a baby card too. So that's the first card I have. And then the second one is just a project that they'll be doing tonight. Um, and again, I wanted, there were a couple of sets that I really wanted to use a second time. I had used just bits of them. I never actually used the dies that went with them and I still didn't use them tonight because I wanted to do both of them, both sets. So I will show you a little bit what I did, but I'm not going to put it all together. I will try to make a video and put it on YouTube. So I took, this is the pattern and um, if you're a demonstrator, you can get it on, it's on the Stampin' Up! website. If you are not a demonstrator, you want me to email it to you, I can. So you trace this onto just a piece, this is just a piece of white cardstock. And then I took um, two stamp sets. This one I actually did my trades with when we went to Orlando and it's called Let the Good Times Roll and it's a roller coaster. And then this one's called Bike Ride. So what I made was a little teacher gift or my daughter's a teacher. So it can be for teachers or it can be for kids. You can put like it's an end of school or it could all, it's really an end of school gift. Let's call it end of school because probably given somebody something that says let the good times roll. Um, and they all look and I'll put it in the comments afterwards. It was, I think it's in the printing place. I'm 99.9% .9 certain if you go to the printing place, it's on there. Um, so probably not giving somebody when they're going back to work, let the good times roll, probably not so much. But I wanted to, um, use the treat cups because I hadn't used those yet at camp and I wanted to use a whole bunch of the stamps. So I'll show you how I did just the bottom of it. Because if you don't have the bike set, does anybody have bike ride, this one? The dies are super cute, but the stamps in this set are so, so cute. Um, so you stamp all of the outlines, and I'll just do a few of them. I'll do some of my favorite ones. So here's some books. So I did just things that were kind of teacherish. So here's the books. I'll get some of the, 
There's a bouquet of flowers. So it's kind of like an ode to the end of this year, an ode to summer. That one I didn't stamp very well. There's some more books. I'm gonna need those in a minute. It's a two-step, three-step kind of stamp. That's the roller coaster. I need some of them for tonight. There's a lot of stamping on here. Here's a bouquet of sunflowers. So the the bike is kind of designed. I am just messing these up. I'm going to start over. You know, you wouldn't think stamping upside down is any different than stamping right side up. It's a It's all in your head kind of thing. So I just filled up the, I'm trying to think of what else is on here that I might want to show you. We'll just go with these. So I've got the books, the sunflowers, and these other books. And then on the top of it, I have the stamps from the roller coaster set. And then they're two steps stamped. And I wanted to have everybody have a little bit of a chance to use some of the new in colors so they're mixed we get some in colors with some regular colors so let's see where's my books this is purple posy and the books are actually three step stamping so they line up like this. So the first time you stamp them, you fill in some of the books. I also need to clean all of these stamp pads before they go down. I mean all my stamp blocks because they have colors written on them from another time. And then we've got Pretty Peacock. Now I gotta find my other books. And then you fill in the rest so they all get filled in. And then the flowers I did in Seaside Spray. The new in colors are so pretty. That's my leaves though. There they are. So in this set, they all match, they line up so perfectly and it fills them in so fast. So here's the Seaside Spray. Thanks, Nicole. It is um, a Stampin' Up shirt. That was how I, I totally just copied my card, inspired by my shirt. <laughs> so I just literally filled up all of these and all of the little images Every single one of them can be filled in by stamping. So then when you're done, you just take this and you it wraps around. I didn't cut this one out, so it's not going to wrap around. But they wrap around the treat cup. So you just put snail on it. And then I took the retiring gingham ribbon. And these um, little, they look like little ice cream cups, but we're going to fill them tonight with some shreddy and some chocolate. But you could put like a gift certificate. Um, and then I put the... Um, roller coaster on top and then on the bottom are all of the I'll take it apart so you can see it better so here's the roller coaster and you just cut it with a circle die that matches and so here's my sunflowers and the dog and the books I'll put some close-ups of the pic pictures on my website and on Facebook so there's apples and like all of the images in the bike set except for the bike are on here and they all I thought pertained really well to teachers or to kids there's a picnic basket I think it's really the basket for the front of the bike but in my world for this it was a picnic basket um, and then it has all of the new in colors and then other colors as well and then the little dog if you can see him I made his little handkerchief match the navy ribbon so that ribbon is leaving. So we won't have any more gingham ribbon. And I love gingham ribbon. And on the top, that is Seaside Spray and Purple Posy on top. 
So that is what I have. I love gingham too. It's very summery. It's a summery color. Does anybody have any questions? If anybody needs a catalog again, for, um, I will be mailing them the end of next week. So if you've placed an order in the last three months or if you place it as part of my weekend special, my weekend special I will put down in the comments. But if you buy any retiring stuff, then you're going to get credits towards new stuff that comes out. Let me pop my camera back up so I can see you. So if you need a catalog, just go ahead and put your name down there and then I will send you a message and I'll get your address. But I will have them. If you place an order, then I'll have your address. And everybody that places an order this weekend will get one. So if you missed, I'll show you the cards again in case you joined late. So this is the one I did earlier. And I will, I usually cut out the beginning while I'm waiting for people and getting my stuff all lined up. But I'll just put this all back over on Facebook. I mean on YouTube so you can watch it there. So there's that one. And then our other camp projects for tonight are here. All of them have stuff that's retiring and if you I think I can't remember the amounts if you place a retiring order this weekend then you get thanks Janet then you get credits towards a purchase in June for new stuff and the new catalog is fabulous like this the samples in it are as pretty as they've ever been this is one of my favorite cards this month I love this card it's just different and I always like to have guy cards as do my campers so that's our six things and if you're in Indy and you ever want to come demonstrators are welcome you don't have to be in my group you just pay the fee and you can come people ask me that all the time if you're what if you can come if you're a demonstrator but everybody have a great weekend and have a happy Mother's Day for those of you that are mothers so enjoy it and I think that's it for now. Unless anybody has any questions, I need to wait a second because it doesn't, it's on delay. Where do you live, Janet? I think in um, the two girls that I do, if you're a demonstrator and you're not part of our creating and sharing the life you love group, that is the demonstrator group that we have. It's on Facebook. So there's three of us that do it. I think that we are going to do something in Atlanta before on stage. So anybody that's gonna to go to the Atlanta on stage. And then I will be in Fort Wayne for the Stampin' Up! Leaders event. And then afterwards, you know, everybody that's in the Fort Wayne area can come if you're a demonstrator and stamp afterwards with Shannon. So I'll be there next weekend. 